If you're looking for a new Linux distro or want to know what's new in Seduction Linux 2024.1, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know about this release. So, let's break it down. Seduction is a Linux distribution based on Debian Unstable, also called Seed. It's great for people who love to stay on the cutting edge of technology. It's a rolling release, which means you get the latest updates all the time without having to reinstall the system. If you're a fan of experimenting with the newest features or like having full control over your system, Seduction Linux may be for you. Now, let's talk about the new release, Seduction 2024.1, and everything it brings to the table. It's been a while since the last Seduction release, and you may wonder why. Well, the Seduction dev team was waiting for KDE Plasma 6 to become available in Debian Unstable. Plasma 6 officially came out earlier this year, but it took a few months to land in Debian due to some technical challenges. This release is packed with new features, updates and some fresh artwork. This latest release of Seduction Linux is called Shine On, inspired by the famous Pink Floyd album. If you're a music fan, this may already have you humming their tunes. The wallpaper called Nexus has been customized to celebrate the KDE developers who work hard this year. It's a small way of saying thank you to the team that created the best desktop environment for Seduction users. Seduction Linux 2024.1 comes in several flavors or desktop environments to suit different needs. The start of this release is KDE Plasma 6.2.4, LXQT 2.1.0, a lightweight option, XFCE 4.20, great for those who want simplicity. Zork is a basic setup without a desktop environment. And Nox, a minimal installation for advanced users. Unfortunately, GNOME, Mate and Cinnamon aren't included because there is no maintainer for them in the Seduction team. But don't worry, you can still install them manually from the Debian repositories if you want to use them. Now let's look at what's new in the supported desktop environments. Plasma 6 uses Wayland by default, which is a modern graphic system. However, in Seduction, is the default because there is a small bug in the Calamares installer that affects keyboard layout during installation on Wayland. This is especially important for encrypted installations. But don't worry, you can switch to Wayland anytime from the login screen also known as SDDM. The Dolphin file manager can connect to network shares using SMB. If you need this feature, use SFTP as a workaround. The issue is in the QO Extras package, so keep an eye out for updates. XFC 4.20 This version includes experimental Wayland support, but it's so new that it doesn't work yet in Seduction. The team has disabled Wayland for now, but they will re-enable it once the bugs are fixed. Tunar File Manager got some cool upgrades to make file management even better. LXQT 2.1 A lightweight alternative to KDE Plasma, LXQT is great for older or low resource systems. It also has experimental Wayland support, so if you're feeling adventurous you can try it out. Seduction 2024.1 is based on a snapshot of Debian Unstable as of December 23, 2024. Here is what's new. Linux kernel 6.12.4 for better hardware support and performance. Systemd update to version 257.1. This version of Seduction also includes useful scripts and tools to make managing your system easier. If you use the ButterFS file system, you'll love the following improvements. Manage snapshot easily with Snapper. Roll back your system to a previous state if something goes wrong. Great for updates or experiments. Seduction Linux now supports both Grub and Systemd boot, giving you more flexibility. By default, Seduction installs some non-free packages to make sure your hardware works out of the box. But if you prefer a fully open source system, you can remove these packages easily with the following commands. Run the command VRAMS to list all non-free packages. Use the command apt purge to uninstall them. Alternatively, use the built-in script to remove non-free to clean up your system later. Here are some tips to make your installation process smoother. 
If you want to reuse an existing home partition, don't do it during installation. Instead, set it up after the system is installed. If you're using an Intel graphics card and the system freeze shortly after booting, add the following parameters to your kernel options before rebooting. All around, Seduction 2024.1 is a powerful cutting-edge Linux distribution that's perfect for tech enthusiasts and advanced users. With KDE Plasma 6, updated tools and improved battery fed support, it's ready to handle whatever you throw at it. If you're new to Seduction or Linux in general, don't worry. The community and documentation are there to help you every step of the way. Give it a try and you may just find your new favorite distro. And as always, thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more Linux content. See you in the next one.